Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with building the asteroid station. And of course, we're continuing to dig out the hole as much as possible, put on some solar panels and things like that. Let's get started.
All right, so this episode in time lapse is mainly once again digging out a bigger hole. <laughs> How big of a hole do we really need? Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking we got a decent height, I believe. Although a large ship still wouldn't be able to fit in, so we probably need to go a little bit higher. But we want to make it a little bit wider as well. So I'm thinking maybe the width of from where we are now on top here and on this side would probably be okay. But I think most of it is going to be on the outside layer anyway. It's kind of like stationed out up to here because it is going to be a shipyard regardless. So we don't really need that deep of a penetration <laughs> into the asteroid. I mean, we could go all the way to the other side if we really, really wanted to, but I mean, we could save that for later. But unfortunately, we have to do it slowly because we can only afford as much storage as possible here for all the stone and everything like that. It's just so quick to fill up as we don't have as much power and refineries and things like that. So that's, that's the problem there. But yeah, we're going to keep drilling out as much as possible. So there's more of a drilling time lapse more than anything else, to be honest, which is enjoyable for the most part, uh, at least for me to do. So yeah, we're going to drill out more on this side. We're going to go and drill out from this side. And luckily, the ship itself is able to actually carry this whole drilling rig and then attach it with a merge block. So then that way, we can continue to attach it into large cargo containers to collect the stone and everything like that. Obviously, we don't necessarily need to do that. We could do like a right click drill style so we could burn out more of the asteroid itself, but then we can't collect the resources, which we can always utilize. It's slow going, but it'll, it'll get there. But yeah, eventually we're going to have a fairly big rectangular shape here. Again, I think we should get a little bit, a little bit higher, right? Because right now we could barely fit this ship. But again, most of the stuff is going to be on the outside, anyways. Inside is more or less a base. Type of deal. Like the quarters, storage, and everything like that. Right now I have everything outside, which is all this is gonna have to move eventually. But yeah, so the focus was more cargo, more drilling, more refineries, as you see here, one here, one's kind of dug inside the asteroid right here. Did we find the stone a lot quicker? Although we could put speed mods, um, but it was fine enough to just do additional Ds for the time being. I think speed mods would have probably made more sense, but it's okay. it's okay. We also did a sorter for our gravel because gravel has been a nuisance in terms of the amount that we get and clogging up the assembler. So we're getting pretty filled with gravel here, unfortunately. But not completely filled just yet, so we still got some time there. Other than that, solar panels. We create a whole wide array of solar panels right here for when the sun comes out, wherever it is now. So right now it's hiding, so that's a problem. It's down underneath over there, but it'll come back around eventually. And then help us charge up the base. So the battery that was here, I removed it because I didn't want it there anymore, which is a waste of power cells, but it's fine. Since um, stone can get all the materials for it anyways. But our batteries are really, really dwindling down. So I've been constantly making the new batteries just to suck out the little power that it gets from the power cells. So I've been queuing up power cells as much as possible. I'm going to queue up a little more too. And then we could build more batteries. Although the ship itself has pretty decent batteries. Well, looks like it's going to be completely depleted quite soon. I don't know why it's jumping like that. That's actually kind of weird. Okay. But yeah, this is seemingly... Yeah, there's like no power in there, to be honest. <laughs> We're pretty much out of power, so we gotta wait for the sun to come back. We could turn on the hydrogen engine right here. With the little bit of ice that we have left. Which is not much. Um, Our best bet would be to find an ice asteroid. That would probably be the best. But I don't even think we're going to be able to find that. Just looking around, I don't see anything remotely close to being an ice asteroid. We'll find ice on the asteroid for sure. But it'd be nice to have the asteroid that's completely made of ice. <laughs> so we can pretty much mine the whole entire thing to get extra power. Because right now we're really 
relying on the solar panels to get charged up and we're wasting a lot of power because of the refining and i think the refining oh no the refining still move it's still working that's good the lack of power is is a bit scary so we gotta keep making more and more power cells so we can make more and more power essentially it's quote unquote stone power i'm never i'm not sure if you guys ever heard of it but if, if you can make a creation where you cycle out making batteries like this drain it and then grind it down and then you just recycle that in that way so that way you just keep building more and more power cells you're, you're basically just wasting power cells but you get that free power that you get out of the battery so it's kind of like stone power in a way but for power cells it doesn't even cost that much i mean 0.33 silicon and 67 nickel that's not too bad it's the iron that's the the biggest piece but still not too bad for some free energy in an essence not really free but you're spending all the resources but it's also a necessity at times and right now actually i can't tell how we still got some power or is it this battery no this battery has little to no power left well the whole thing's pretty much little to no power so we either need more power cells or we need some hydrogen engine power going on here <laughs> but first does this hydrogen engine even have oh it does have 100 percent of ice so technically i could just turn if we really really wanted to we turn this thing off so we don't cycle the ice off and we turn this thing on so then we at least kill the hydrogen that's on the engine itself and that should help us charge up a bit but once i turn on the o2h2 generator that's the problem that we're gonna have where it's gonna recharge take the, the ice and recharge this thing here so that can also get a little bit scary because we're gonna need ice for for hydrogen i wouldn't say for oxygen because we have an oxygen tank here that's pretty full it's just the hydrogen is the biggest problem once i run out of that i don't know how we're gonna operate <laughs> so let me hide the ice for now just in case and we're probably and likely gonna have to go out and venture off to find some ice relatively soon i mean there's a lot of asteroids around so you would hope that some of these would have ice so you guys enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to like and subscribe Drop a comment down below, even just say hi. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.